Well, I was going to bring you a tutorial on masking text and stuff, really, really cool stuff, but that's been put on hold because Cyberlink has updated its PowerDirector 365 program. What? Yeah, again. However, I think they've redeemed themselves. Has Cyberlink now turned the corner from all the rubbish that they've been bringing? Because they've, been, they've brought in a new tool. It's called the Speed Tool. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I've been playing around with this and it is great fun. I have to tell you, it's worth the update just for this one tool. It is super cool. Now they've also updated some other stuff and I'm going to show you that as well. But this speed tool is absolutely brilliant. That's enough of me rabbiting on. Let's just open up PowerDirector. Let's take a look. <laughs> So have a new project to open up here and let me show you what, what's turned up. Now as you can see right at the top here I've got these little red dots above the uh, overlay and titles. Now overlay there's been some new stuff in overlays. Um, do people actually use overlays? Let's have a look at popular. Let's have a look what's new. These are the new ones. Popular ones. Um, there's some new ones in there. I, I can't say as I've ever used any of these. <laughs> But, um, yeah, they just kind of look childish to me. I'm, I'm, they're not my thing. Um, so that's overlays as add a new one. Titles, I've added some new stuff in. Let's have a look what's new in titles. Now you can see there's some of these. These all need to be downloaded as well. Now some of these are pretty sweet. This neon sign, um, that looks, that's looking good. And there's some 3D stuff in this, this neon cube. That looks pretty sweet as well. Might have a try around with those and mess around with those. There's so there's some new nice titles turned up. But the one thing I want to also look at here is in our media. Now we have in in our media now we have what's called background image. If I click on this, we have all these background images come in here. Now these are downloadable files. I've downloaded one so you can, so you can have a look quick look. They're beautiful. That is absolutely amazing. I like that. Now, can you imagine that having text appearing from out these, from underneath these petals, master out and text just flows in like this around on this beautiful picture. What an intro that would make, right? Especially if you're doing botany or you're doing flowers or something. This would be an absolutely brilliant intro to make with this kind of picture. They are just superb um welcome addition definitely the background image is wonderful now the thing is we what we've come here for of course is the new tool that's turned up so let's go into stock media now i'm going to be using the dancer from my previous tutorials i'm just going to drop it down onto track one it's the same girl if you've been following along you'll know what this is all about so i'm going to double click so we can show you because this is the update now we're going to speed this up a little bit and because I made a mistake in a previous tutorial, <laughs> if you haven't seen that, go check it out. Oh dear, I need, I got to get some new glasses. Now here right in between the crop rotate on the left hand side here and the chroma key was the video speed to <laughs> text that you could speed it up. Well now in this update it's disappeared, it's not here anymore, there is no speeding anymore on here because right at the very top now you can see we have mask, animation and we have speed. Look, it's right there. It is absolutely amazing. I love this. Let's click it open so you can see how this works. So we've got two ways to speed up our video. We've got the uniform speed and we've got some speed presets. So the uniform speed is basically you drag this little point across and it increases the speed. You can type in original and in new destination duration here. And we get a little tab here that you can click so it keeps the audio the same. So whatever is happening on this video, the audio will still run at its original speed. Very, very cool. However, when we go into speed presets, now this is where the fun starts. Watch this. I'm going to show you. Click it open and you get these presets. So we've got zero none, of course. We've got custom, montage, hero, bullet, jump. We've got flash in and flash out. So basically this would be a speed in and a speed out kind of, if, kind of effect, right? 
Now I'm going to drag this along so we can see what's happening here all the way like this and I'm going to drop this down a little bit so we can see how this works. I'm going to go into montage. I'm going to click this first one because custom of course I'll show you montage so you understand how custom works. So click it open and you get this timeline right here underneath. This is absolutely brilliant. Let's see what this is. You've got three adjustments here. We can add an adjustment point. That means we can add a node here on this little blue line. We've got the next one, which is add a freeze frame. Absolutely brilliant. No more messing around. We can just click on this button, drag the playhead along to where we want it, click on freeze frame, and we freeze frame it. Brilliant. And of course, there's a reset button. Now, this, of course, is Cyberlink's default reset which basically deletes everything <laughs> they've always done this to do it in photo director and it's also here in power director if you click on this boom everything's gone this is one of the buttons that you really just this should be hidden no one wants to play with that so let's just click back onto montage so we can see what's happening uh, let's just run this, this little video clip and, and so you can see how this is running with this little blue line. Now, th it does get really quick. So if we did a, a custom, we could just in make this move a little bit better. Now, I'm just going to leave it for the moment just so you can see how, how it runs. Now, it runs along and it gets faster and faster as it goes up and then it slows down. That's pretty quick, right? And then it slows down. And then it speeds up back to normal speed again. Excellent. Let me drag this over to the right hand side so we can see this line again now. So let's see how this runs. So there's a little red line here on the left hand side. This is because our timeline is at the beginning here. So you, we can drag it from here. If you move your mouse over this little red line, we can drag this along, see, and it moves the playhead along. We can also do it here and we can also do it here as well on this little video clip. See that? It is actually easier to use it here on its own timeline like this. Very cool. Now these nodes that we have here that are set presets, if you move your mouse over it, your mouse pointer changes, we can actually drag these around. We can move them left and right. We can do all kinds of things with these. Look at this, this is brilliant. Each one, we can just move it up and down like this. And because that speed was quite high, I'm going to drop it like that and then we're going to move it. And you can move them and, and, and change them like this. And when you click on it, you'll see here right in the middle is, is the time value, is how quick or how fast our video speed is has been increased. So that is normal speed and that's up two and a half times more quick. See? Now I'm going to move this playhead here. And we're going to add a node just so you just click add an adjustment point so you just click on here and there you go and you get an adjustment point now the thing is this adjustment point only works between this point and this point you can't drag this past it it just that's the ending and that's the beginning see it stops so that is where it stays there now to remove this point you just click on the minus sign again remove node if we click on this one we can remove that one as well simple right drag our player along, have it somewhere there. Now the next point of goal is, of course, the add a freeze frame. This is brilliant. Click it once and you get a little window open up like this and it asks you how many seconds you'd like to freeze frame it. I'm going to use my keyboard. I'm going to just type in two and click apply. And then we get this little diamond node here that we can literally do the same thing. We can drag it along them and it increases the speed and drops the speed down. But this is the freeze frame node. So all we do is you leave it there and see and it stops there and it stops there. We can't go any further. So we're going to speed it up a little bit and then we're going to freeze frame it right there at this point in time. So let's just drag this back so we can so you can see this better like that. I'm going to Take it back to the beginning. You'll see this little go. It goes faster and faster and it'll freeze frame it for two seconds. So she goes faster and faster, a little bit more. Boom. There we go. Two seconds. Hey. And then we're back where it goes before. <laughs> oh, this is just great fun. Look at it. Absolutely love it. So that is how you to do a freeze frame as well. Now, so easy. It is just so easy. Let's remove the freeze frame. So like I said, we, we went on the montage and as soon as we actually edit these nodes, it goes back to custom. See, now if I click on custom, 
we've got this back here now if I'm going to reset it all so it's back to normal like this I am going to move these nodes and I'm going to increase and decrease I'm just going to make my own kind of little area like this and I'm going to add a freeze frame in there we're going to click two seconds like that I'll give it an apply let's move this along a little bit more and we'll add another node in there and I will just increase its speed a bit and there we go so now I've created my own custom line here now you can see right above here where my mouse is right here there's this zoom in this zooms in on this timeline here so if we click it one time like this see we're zooming in so we can basically really refine where we put in these nodes to, to, to give it some really exact points which is really really nice that is super cool I'm going to go back I'm not going to do anything with that that is brilliant now underneath the timeline we've got the keep the audio pitch which is basically really interesting to use now if we go all the way down to the bottom right underneath it you'll see it says save as now I've created this so I'm going to click on save as I'm going to leave it as preset one here and I'm going to click OK and look at that right here at the top here we've got preset one our own preset so if I click on none and then click back on our preset one it comes up absolutely brilliant so we can create your own presets for use in several videos just brilliant I absolutely love it so I'm gonna click on none and I'm gonna close this window down because I want to show you something else while we while I'm in here like this I'm gonna shut this down as well now I'm gonna go back down to my timeline here I'm gonna double click this open and I'm gonna go back to video now there's been an update to the background remover um, it says hot <laughs> It has been updated a little bit. It's a, it is a little bit better than <laughs> than what I don't know. It's still mm, it's debatable basically. But this thing, background remover, and I'm going to click on background remover and go like here. And there we go. Now you can see it is a bit um, yeah. There's a little bit of a foot cut away there, so it's still suffering from its AI is just not it's just not there. I'm going to increase the edge thickness here in the middle just to give it a little bit so I can bring her back. See, now it's bringing back the background, so let's go back down a little bit to somewhere there. I'm going to feather it a little bit so it kind of blends it in a little bit, but the problem is it gives it a kind of, yeah it's a bit mm, it's, it's, it's iffy but here's the thing right if I go to the next frame or use my full stop on my keyboard just one look at that look how it just it's just literally jumped out of position but if I go again one more keyframe it comes back now this is just it's just something that is yeah come on cyberlink i mean that is just it's not even nowhere near so if i go keep and and again and again now it, it it's kind of yeah there's a little bit here and a little bit there i mean they're getting there they really are they're getting there and it's really cool only some of it is yeah see we're missing a bit of a leg here um so yeah they've made some updates and it is a little bit better but if we go into advanced while we've got this selected click on advanced and we have all these options to use here we can have borders shadows reflections motion blur we can do a fade in and a fade out so if I click on a border, you see it puts a border around it, which is pretty cool. If you've got a dancing video, we can put a border around it and we can increase it and we can keyframe it here if we wanted to, which is pretty sweet. If we click on the top here on cutout, it takes us back here to where we'd cut out this. Now I would like to, to, to edit this mask myself they still don't allow me to do that which is which is sad 
But the thing is, while this is running, we can go to animation as well, like here, and we can do a stomp in. So you get this effect. Pretty neat. And, and I found another one. This brushing effect was pretty cool. Whoop. <laughs> yeah, I mean, some of it is cool. In and out loop and cut out and properties is very nice. I'm going to click cancel. Don't save it because I don't really want to save it. So now we've got it cut out, right? We can go to speed. And we can use our speed on this cut out because basically it's a video clip, right? So we've just got a montage like we had before and just move that around and, and drag this up and down a bit like this, see? And then just, and then see what happens. So it's still getting artifacts in there and it's still, it, but it's keeping up. It's pretty neat, but this, this artifact, that bit there is just nasty. Let's see if I can stop it right there. That's there. Oh, there, look, see that? Yeah, it's, <sighs> why won't they let me mask it? God damn it. I don't understand, but yeah, um, you, so you can use this new speed presets and everything. Absolutely brilliant. We can freeze frame it and, and everything else. This is absolutely wonderful. I love this new speed preset. Um, it's great fun. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. And we're good. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> I'm going to have some fun with this. What can I say? Absolutely brilliant. Drone footage, absolutely in and out, pausing, absolutely great stuff, absolutely brilliant. If you enjoyed this video tutorial, don't forget to click subscribe, give us a like, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload new content. Go check out my channel for all things Cyberlink and more. That's my rant for today. Have a great day. Stay safe, people.